everyone. Happy hump day. We're halfway through the week. We are back today to read you another story and give your parents maybe six or seven minutes of quiet time. I have my little one Dominic here and he brought his friend Teddy. Teddy. We wanted to give a shout out to Luke and Jake in Vermont and then Hattie and Hyal in Denver and Burke and Leas, our cousins, in Cherry Hills Village. Um, today we're gonna read the story, There Are Monsters Everywhere. Don't worry, we have jokes for you at the end. This is one of our favorites by Mercer Mayer. We thought we would just share it with you. So, let's get started. There were monsters everywhere in my house. <clears throat> they would hide when my mom was around. But when I was alone, the room would get very quiet. I just knew the monsters were going to jump out. Dad said there weren't any monsters, but he was wrong. I knew there were monsters in the basement, but since I never had to go down there, they didn't bother me. There were monsters outside by the garbage cans too. I just knew it. Dad had to watch me when I took out the trash. Otherwise, I might not ever return. He never seemed too worried, but I sure was. There was a monster, monster somewhere in the bathroom. I just knew he was there whenever I shampooed my hair. Sometimes I thought I heard him breathing, but he vanished whenever I looked. There were monsters hiding in my room. Mom had to come with me to get my pajamas. But they couldn't get me because I made a really good fort on the top of my bunk bed. Dad said, monsters hate the top, bu top bunk because they're scared of ladders. I wondered if that was true. I was really getting tired of being pushed around by a bunch of monsters. Then I saw a sign for karate classes, all ages. That means me, I thought. At dinner, I told mom and dad that I needed karate class so the monsters wouldn't get me. They agreed that it was a good idea. Karate was fun. I learned all sorts of great looking, scary moves. I even learned how to break a board with my bare hand. I was hoping a monster was watching when I did that. The real test came one night after dinner. I took out the garbage and didn't ask dad to watch me. I could tell they were out there waiting. I gave a loud karate yell and kicked a garbage can. I think I made my point. In the shower, I practiced karate punches on the shower curtain, just hoping a monster was standing too close. Later, I jumped into my room and took the most ferocious karate position I knew. Not one monster poked his head out. Ha! I could even sleep on the bottom bunk. The next day, I went down to the basement. I didn't want the monsters down there to think I was letting them off the hook. I still go to karate class. I decided to get my black belt. I might even become a professional monster hunter when I grow up. So even though there are monsters everywhere, Dominic, take it away. What does it say? I don't care! All right, so Colton sent us a joke. Would you like to hear it? Yeah. Knock, knock. Who's it? Who? Who, who? Why are you trying to be like an owl? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a joke you want to share? Yeah. Okay. Knock, knock. Who's there? 
Boo. Boo, boo. Why are you crying? I don't know. You just said, tell, tell me boo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Until tomorrow, we will see you. Have a good, safe, healthy Wednesday.